Hi everybody, today we're going to check how you can get started with CLI for Microsoft 365. So how we can install it, set up it to make it your own and log in for the very first time. And probably you're already thinking, well, there are already a bunch of those guidance and recordings on the web, right? Well, this one is specifically done to address the recent changes that were made to the PNP management shell app registration. So this was an app used by default as a default login uh, method by CLI till now. And what does it mean? So CLI, in order to uh, manage your tenant, to allow it to do changes on your Microsoft 65 tenant, it needed some uh, app registration that defined all of the login methods it could use and the scopes and permission it, it had to manage to run the commands to manage your tenant. And this app registration was the PMP management shell. It was a multi-tenant app we as a, the PMP community delivered for you and was a really convenient method to use because it get, get, got you up and running in seconds and it had all the permissions and scopes needed to run every CLI command out there. So it got you unblocked quickly. And although it was really convenient to be used, so it, it was really fast to, to log in, you did, didn't require adding any additional effort or work from your side to create this app registration your own. You just, you just got it with the product and it also allowed you to use everything CLI had to offer. We noticed it was a bit overused and it was of course it was the best way to to use cli in your dev and qa and stages environment but maybe not the best approach to be used in a production environment and for for sure not the best way to be to use as your um login uh app registration app registration for your automated scripts so when you created your automated script so a specific kind of feature script or whatever that done a specific thing on your Microsoft 365, it wasn't the best approach to use the PMP management shell as your app registration that your script used to log in to your tenant because this app, because this app registration had a bunch of scopes that probably you didn't use all of them in this one specific script. So that's why in order to address this um, issue, this uh, app will now go away. And in, uh, in order to uh, encourage you to, to be to a more secure posture, we, we will now like to introduce you to a setup we uh, kind of promoted before, but now it's going to be default. <laughs> so now you're going to create your own app registration that you will be your you will be the owner of it and it will be your single tenant uh, app registration with only the scopes that are needed for your specific case. So of course it can have all the scopes <clears throat> as the PMP management shell had before, but uh, for the automated scripts, of course it shouldn't have, it should have only the scopes that are required only to run the things for this specific script. So for example, only the permissions that allowed to make changes on the Power Platform site or a uh, SharePoint uh, online. That's why now the PMP management shell is not here anymore. And now you'll, before you will start using CLI for Microsoft 365, you will need to create your own single tenant app registration with just the scopes needed and the permissions that are needed for either this automated script or your specific case, or to manage your Microsoft 365 tenant in the area you are interested in. Okay, and this maybe sound like a lot of work, but actually it isn't. And we made it. We made additional improvements in our product to make it really seamless for you. But before we move forward, how to get started with CLI? Well, you need to install it first, and it's really easy. You can do it since it's an npm package. You can do it either using the npm install or young global add commands to get it to get the package. Just remember to add that uh, to add it as your global package, or we also expose it uh, through Docker. And you can run the uh, use the Docker run command to get the latest CLI image. After that, you're basically off, off and ready to go. So, how this changed uh, this changes in the PMP management shell actually influence CLI from Microsoft Five? So, do I need to install to the latest uh, version? Well, you don't need to if you don't really want to, because the previous versions will still work. There's only the tiny detail that the previous version of CLI by default, we'll try to log you in over the PMP management shell uh, app registration, which, which is not there anymore. So now if you want to uh, use older versions of CLI, you will need to provide your own app registration. So created beforehand 
and then uh, run the CLI login command, either providing the app ID and tenant uh, GUIDs for the login command to tell, okay, hey, CLI, I'm going to log in using my own app registration, or you can set up the CLI for Microsoft 365 app, uh, uh, the, uh, the AAD app ID and the tenant environment variables, and then just run the M365 login command, and the login command will check for those environment variables if they are set, and if yes, that it will use them. But of course, it's recommended to go with the latest, and the latest as of now, CLI uh, Microsoft 365 version is V9. This is the latest major version, and in this version, we made it uh, awesome. We made some awesome improvements on uh, among many other things specific on the, those that address those uh, changes made improvements in the m365 setup command that will now not only make cli your own so configure it to be either interactive or tailored for scripting but now it will allow you to set up your own app registration in seconds so i'll show it in a bit and also we address the m365 login command to now change the default approach do not log in over the PMP Manager shell, but by default, check and log in over your own uh, app registration. So we now check if this app ID and tenant is defined in order of the two method methods I mentioned before. So either by options in the command or the environment variables, or now we can also set it as configs uh, in the CLI. Okay, so a short demo and let's see it in action. Let's see how it works. So I'm in my terminal, I have my CLI for Microsoft 365 already installed. If I just type the M365, I will get the default output that, hey, you have CLI for Microsoft 365, and this is the major version, so currently I'm using the V9. And these are the commands you can use. Okay, awesome. Let's try the login command. And now, as you can see, the default login experience changed. Previously, it would just log in, uh, try to log us in uh, to our tenant, using the PMP management shell. Now it does not, and it uh, requires us to specify additional information about our own app registration we created beforehand and tell okay, to, to the CLI that, okay, I'm going to log in uh, to my tenant using this Entra app registration. And you can do it either in the command itself by specifying it as an option, so doing the dash dash app ID and the tenant, or you can set up those environment variables as I said uh, before, or now you can also set it as additional configs in the CLI uh, config, which currently is empty as this is a fresh install. And of course you can do it all manually and go over our guidance, or you can use this additional tip that just run the M65 setup command and CLI will guide you with additional questions how to make CLI your own and also help you configure and create your own Entra app registration. So let's check this behavior. Okay, after I run the M65 setup command, I, the first question I have is that, okay, CLI now requires me uh, requires a new enter app registration uh, basically an app, app registration it will use for the login command so you can either create one here or you can uh, provide if you created one beforehand you can just provide uh, answers to additional questions what is the app id what is the tenant id how you want to log in maybe using certificate or integratively as a user and so on and so forth and you can of course do it manually going over our docs so if you go to our uh, CLI for Microsoft 365 docs in the user guide, you can uh, you will see the use your own Microsoft Entra identity, and here you will get you have detailed docs that present you step by step uh, things you need to do to create your own Entra app registration information you need to say, save that the CLI will use, and all of the uh, login methods you need to specify and additional permissions you can set on your own to make it to make this uh, app registration tailored for your specific case for the things you will be using or for your automated script or you can skip all that and say CLI hey I don't know anything about it help me with it try to create it for me and this is the first option and the option I will pick for today and then CLI will ask do you want to create an entry app registration with minimal set of permissions or just the user that read or all so basically all is the convenient way and it's the, sim the most similar way it was before so it will create you uh, your an uh, app registration on your tenant that had all the permissions and scopes that previously the PMP management shell had. And this is a good option if you're planning to use CLI as a user interactively, as a, for example, M365 tenant admin to just 
get you unblocked with every uh, command CLI has to offer to allow you to manage your M65 the way you want. But if you're planning to set up an entra app registration for your automated script, you should rather go with the minimal permissions and then manually add only the scopes and permissions that are required for the specific uh, commands that are run in this specific automated script. And you should have one uh, app entra app registration per uh, one script. So every script should log in over its own entra app registration that has only the scopes needed for the commands that are used in this specific script. And since I'm planning to use every CLI feature, I'm gonna pick the all option. Then CLI asks us the, the questions it had before, so I'm planning to use CLI. Uh, do I want to set it up for scripting? So minimize the output modes, don't, don't, ask, for, don't ask for additional options if I missed any, or do I, I'm planning to use CLI interactively as a human and want CLI to help me. So ask for additional prompt for additional options. Maybe I missed when I ran some command. No, this is the, the option for me. And I'm going to use CLI as a beginner. So I want CLI to help me with additional help and guidance when I miss, uh, missed some information or just get, uh, did some error on running a command. Okay, awesome. This is the settings we're going to change. Are you okay with that? Yes. And now CLI asks that, hey, I'm going to log in as a Microsoft Microsoft Azure CLI to create this uh, app registration for CLI for Microsoft 5. Are you okay with that? The default option is no, so we need to uh, say yes, so you are aware what CLI is going to do under the hood, and as a result, you will get a new entra app registration created on your Azure tenant. That's why we require you to say yes to that. And after you click yes, uh, CLI will open your, open up your default browser and uh, will uh, ask you to log into your Azure tenant. After you did, you've done that, it's done. You're off, off and ready to go, so you can close this tab and go back to your terminal and in a bit CLI will pick up. Okay, you created the interrupt registration. These are the settings I set for you to make it interactive, beginner, make it readable for a human and so on and so forth. And uh, since I created this app registration for you, I uh, these are the this is the app ID, the client ID, and the tenant ID I already set for you. So you can just now run the M365 login command without specifying it. Let's check what we actually did. So if I would copy over this client ID and I will go to my Azure portal to my app registration and I would uh, check, uh, filter for this squid, I can see now that it created a CLI for Microsoft 365 app registration in my Azure tenant for me already pre-configured with all of the uh, all of the settings required to uh, to use it to, to log in over it and also with the permissions I defined so since I picked the all option as you can will see a bunch of scopes already uh, here and these were all of the scopes that previously the PMP management shall have and this will get me unblocked with all of the CRI for Microsoft 365 features awesome Okay, let's go back to my terminal and now let's run the login command. As you can see, I didn't need to specify the app ID and the tenant ID now because it was pre-configured for me when I run the setup command and I added this information. So basically I asked CLI to create this app registration. Okay, now I will log in as a user to my tenant. That's it. I can close. And I'm off and go and ready to go. So I logged into my tenant now over my own app registration which CLI created for me. And now basically I can run any uh, any command like let's uh, list all the sites I have on my uh, all the sites I have in my SharePoint Online. And since I have one billion of those, it's gonna take like one hour. Okay, no, it doesn't. So basically, it works. And it doesn't seem that hard. It's just an additional M365 setup to create your own app registration before you log in. That's all. All right, so let's get back to the slides. And before we wrap this up, let's just go over some small tips that uh, uh, just to be aware that M365 login com command is quite advanced and it allows you, of course, to log in as a user. And then you can log in using either the device code, password, or browser authentication types. The first one and the last one are the recommended ones because then you log in over your browser and can leverage some 
um, rich security features like multi-factor authentication. And of course, you can log in as an application and then you can use the authentication type certificate or secret to log in without providing a username and password. So I basically log in as an app. So this is a perfect way to log in when you're trying to use CLI in your automated scripts. And you can also use the identi identity authentication type, which is tailored to be used in Azure resources, like for example, in Azure virtual machines or Azure functions. And uh, please be aware that each time you log in, you create a new connection. So basically you don't override that previous uh, previous login uh, to your tenant, but instead you create a new connection. So CLI has this feature that allows you uh, to manage multiple tenants or uh, one tenant in using multiple accounts. And each time you log in to the Microsoft, to CLI for Microsoft 5, you create a new connection that you can list them using the M365 connection, uh, connection commands. And uh, you can change which one is active using the M365 connection use command and therefore setting it as active will, uh, will set this connection to be used when running any other CLI command. And you can change the default GUID names that are created when you logged in uh, logged into your tenant by default the name is some auto generated GUID you can give it a friendly name by using the m connection set command and then when you use the uh, connection use command to switch the connection you can uh, switch it over by providing your uh, a friendly uh, friendly name you're given to this connection and this is an awesome way uh, awesome feature if you are managing multiple tenants or you want to uh, manage your m tenant using uh, different ways so for example one time as a user was an admin and other time as an app to check uh, check something for your automated script before it's run okay awesome and if you have any other doubts or questions be sure to check our docs aka.ms slash cli hyphen m65 uh, or if you have any other questions uh, you can always open up an issue or a discussion on our GitHub repository, or you can find us on two Discord server. The first one is our CLI for Microsoft 365 Discord server under aka.ms slash CLI Microsoft M365 Discord, or you can go to the M365 and Microsoft 365 and Power Platform Community Discord server, and then under the tools group, uh, you will see the CLI for Microsoft 365 channel, which we are actively monitoring for your questions. And just to be aware that at the last Monday of every month on our Discord server, so the CLI for Microsoft 365 Discord server, we are hosting office hours. This is a, a safe and uh, not recorded call. You can join and ask us any question regarding CLI for Microsoft 365. Okay, that's about it, everybody. Happy coding.